Greetings and salutations, friends and, um, friends. So friends and subscribers, non-subscribers, just welcome everybody. I am here today, uh, Nikki from Midlife Adulting, and I am doing adulting tasks on camera as I work my way through midlife and try to pull myself together. It's a, it, it's a thing. So it's been a little while since I filmed, pardon me for being out of practice. I have some things. I have some cash. I have, you know, a fancy book with fancy empty sleeves in here. And actually maybe we'll start there. I downloaded from an Etsy shop who I will link in the description because I do not remember um, cash books because I saw everybody else do it and I wanted to do it too is essentially what's going on here. Um, and I have, as you can see, a few, a few ones to see what I can collect. So first let's just see how many ones I have. One, let me count in a way that's comfortable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have 18 ones to see if I can fit them in with these cash books. And I'm going to stuff everything in the cute little binder pouches when I get to that point. I also have $25 in cash and I'm getting to use my handy dandy little, I love this thing. It's so cute. Money tray. Love, 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 love. And I might use that for see what I can fit in here. I also have from that I got downloaded from Words and Wallets Budgeting, uh, Coins to Cash. Uh, collect your change and complete this challenge and save $201. I have change. I have a lot of change. I am not going to torture anyone by doing that on camera. But I kind of just wanted to point out that I have this challenge. Also, I've read more books than this. I only have one checked off and I have read and listened to more books. So I'm going to work on the savings challenge. I'm going to talk about this 165 mile challenge that I haven't uh, colored in. Got to see challenge. That's just one of the challenges I have. Okay. So we are going to start with the letter box. Now, I'm going to use colored pencils. What color am I going to use today? I'm just going to pick a color of the day. Today feels like a blue day. And let's see what letters I have. Okay, L. Let's start there. That is at the end. Of course, let's go backwards. So for this guy, what is L for? That's a great question. L can be for lunches. I think I'm just gonna save it though. I wonder if I should go through, I'm gonna go through and see if there's any more L's in here. G, G, F, H, B, G, C, K, D, oh, this is the grossest looking dollar I think I've ever seen. J, didn't I have a J already? J, J, no J, A, E, gosh, I got like one of everything. A, F, F, well, this is a heck of a start, H. Okay, so we got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. I don't have any eyes, but that's, ugh, I don't have any eyes, that's awful. So I got new see-through pouches 
because why did I decide that I needed see-through pouches for this project? Honestly, a no honest to gosh clue, but I did. And so I did. And now we're going back to the beginning. I still have the black ones that I used before, but they were black on one side and then not see-through. I'm not sure why I just said it. Okay, how many I have? A. I have two A's. What is A for? All the things. <laughs> I forget how much you're supposed to save when you have all of these colored in, but I don't know what people, like do people then start over? Like, I'm wondering what folks do once they've filled up. Do they then take it and put it in another savings challenge? Do they, I don't know. B, I have one B. B is for budgeting. Budgeting, okay, so I've kind of given up on trying to budget, except in my head, I think, well, I shouldn't give up. I should just focus on one thing to try, you know, like start my zero based budget, like slow and with like one thing at a time. <sighs> I don't know. It's just so frustrating that I have so much trouble with it. Like I should not, I should not have so much trouble. I'm not a stupid person. So I have been reading a book called Scatter, Adapt and Remember which is about how um, humans are going to survive the next uh, mass extinction. You would think that sounds really um, awful and like a big old downer, but for me it's actually really interesting. And I started reading it and it's talking about different types of prehistoric humans, or not prehistoric, but the different types of humans, Neanderthals, Cro-Magnons, all that stuff. And I'm, I'm watching, I'm reading it, and it makes me want to read this book called Clan of the ba Cave Bear by Jean M. Owl. I think is how you pronounce her name. Written back in 80. I read it in the late 90s. Um, loved it. I'm sure there's problems with it, but I enjoyed it. Eye candy. And it's followed up by five other books. And the second one is Valley of the Horses. And that's my favorite one. So I wanted to reread that one. But then I was like, but I should really start with the first one. So anyway, I went back to read it. And now I'm reading, I read Clan of the Cave, or I actually listened to it because I pulled out my paperback copy and I'm like, uh, uh. I kept backing up and backing up and backing up because I couldn't read it. The font is so ridiculously small. But, um, so I listened to that and then I started listening to Valley of the Horses. So the main character is trying to learn how to talk because she grew up with an experience of uh, language mostly with hand gestures. And she has a hard time with the concept. So she is no, by no means a stupid person, but she has trouble with the concepts of, of language and, and certain things that she never had an experience for in her formative years. I feel like that's how I am with budgeting. It's not that I can't do it. It's just that I am having so much trouble figuring out how to make it work for me because Like, to, to do a budget, it feels like you need everyone's participation. And nothing against my partner, uh, the guy that I'm married to, and nothing against him. Oh, I had three Fs, actually. I have three Fs left. <laughs> One F left. Uh, no offense to him, but I feel like he has to be on board, too, and then I feel like, and this is unfair of me, that he has to be perfect 
all the time. If he screws up and pays for something more out of budget, that somehow it's not going to work because it's his fault. Now, what if I do that? Um, it's just an accident, so I need to fix that in my head. 3Gs? Oh, wow. 3Fs, three 3Gs. Three Anybody know what these letters mean, by the way? So, I need to... I need to figure that out to make budgeting work for me, I think. Um, it's just rough. It just... I just... I have a hard time with it. So, yeah. That's where the budgeting thing has gone. Um, the money that I'm stuffing, I am pulling out sometimes $40 in the week for me to spend. I, I was pulling out $40, and I'll get to this part too. With the, when I get to the walking challenge, but essentially, I was pulling out $20 for if I wanted to go out and get lunch or something during the week, or if I wanted to stop and get something at the gas station. And um, and this is like the, the change that I didn't use during that process. That's the money that I'm using in these envelopes. Um, that's the money that I'm stuffing. That's the money that I'm considering not disposable, but I don't know. I'm sure people who have their stuff together budget for savings challenges. I haven't done that because I don't have a budget still. It's just a thing. It, however, that might change shortly. And the reason I say it might change, do I keep opening these? And, no, this is actually just open, okay. Um, is because of stuff that's going on that has absolutely nothing to do with money. Oh, I have no eyes. Eyes for Ivy. Uh, eyes for Ivy. I have one J buck. I gotta figure out what these letters stand for. <sighs> it is kind of nice to see that I can color within the lines a little bit though. Anyway. <sighs> That's where I am, budgeting wise. Yeah. And I have one K buck. It has been ridiculously warm here, although today is kind of nice. I have the window open. Friday was gorgeous. Saturday was really nice, and I am hoping today would be as nice, but I don't think it's going to be. I think when I end up mowing, it's going to be hot and gross because that's gonna be my look. Okay, let me put my colors over here. And, okay, so in my little emergency thing, the first pocket that I haven't filled is 15. So I'm gonna do that. What was I doing, folding these in thirds? So I see the dude's faces. I have this labeled as emergency. I don't know if that means like a family emergency, like a house emergency, or like a mental health emergency. <laughs> um, do I have any more tens? I don't have any more tens, and I think that's gonna be it for now, for here. But what I do have is two fives, okay. On to savings challenges. Like I said, I'm not gonna torture with people with this but what I am going to do, so uh, this first book was actually a book by Words and Wallet, who is a uh, fantasy author who is uh, budgeting to get her life in order. I have read several books since then. I, have, I am still chugging through um, Scatter, Adapt, and Remember, but I did listen to Clan of the Cave Bear. 
and I tell you what, that was so good. And so I am going to mark that one off and you can't see, but I'm going to stick this in my piggy bank. You know what? I'm going to stick it in my piggy bank later because I can't reach it right now. It's behind my computer. Of course it is. And the gratitude savings challenge. I'm going to say that I am grateful for everyone who hangs around, who has hung around, and I've lost a couple of people through the boring lawn mowing episodes, through my what the heck ever. Thank you for everyone who has stuck around and watched me and not unsubscribed as I figure, as I take my filming break, as I who's it's, what's it's things stuffs you know thank you thank you for the things and stuff okay 165 mile challenge I still have 11 stones circled colored in I have not gone on any walks in forever part of that is because it's been so ridiculously hot outside Part of it is because I'm lazy or when I get home from work, I just don't feel like it. And I really, really, really don't want to give up on this. So I'm going to adjust my goal. I have my goal. I don't have my reward. My goal is going to be a minimum of 50 miles. Because at this rate, I'm getting seriously seriously disheartened by the fact that I haven't gotten any more miles. I actually have a do do have a plan to walk today. I also have to mow, mow the lawn, and mowing the lawn counts as exercise, but I'm not counting as as mileage and what I really need to do is get out and take walks partly because of I am doing I'm 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 doing a supportive diet plan with the local hospital because I want to be able to get up out of my car without having to push up off of the car seat I want to be able to squat down and pull weeds and be able to stand up without having something to push off of or without having my knees go out halfway down because my my knees don't like those deep bends i just want to feel better in my body and it it rotates rotates revolves around my knees basically doing a better job of supporting me i don't want to have to keep hauling myself out of my chair i want to be able to get a walking pad for my desk and to do that for my desk at work and to get that I need to be 300 pounds or less and right now I'm at 311. I wrote down that I started this dietitian journey at 314 which is probably true but I haven't done a really good job of weighing myself all the time but anyway so this is a thing if I get the 50 miles and I can get myself below 300 pounds I'm gonna get that walking pad for work and I am going to use it every day for a half an hour and that is going to be my exercise, but I just need to get to the place where I can start. The other reason I said I was going to get, I was, I was talking about budgeting and I was like, I'm going to get to that. You would think that I would be better at budgeting because right now for this plan, for this dietitian plan, I need to, let me pull my thoughts together here. I need to track how much protein, how much fiber, and how many net carbs I get every day. They calculate net carbs by looking at the total carbs and subtracting the fiber from that. And that's what your net carbs are. And I need to stay below 100 net carbs every day. I need to get between 70 and 90 grams of protein. And I need to get between 25 and 35 grams of fiber. Okay. So I am now have to keep track of everything I eat. Am I using one of the apps? No, I find pen and paper is much easier. I don't have my, my food tracking journal log. <laughs> I drew a log inside. 
Um, but you would think keeping track of that isn't much different than keeping track of your money and trying to keep your spending below a certain amount, which is a really good point. Maybe I need to think of it more like that. Wait, you know what? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Well, at any rate, I am Nikki. I am frustrated. I am not put together. I am trying my best and I am human. And I welcome all people who are also like that to my channel. If you have enjoyed this content or if you think you can sympathize with me, consider giving the video a like, consider subscribing to my channel because it's this kind of hot mess that will continue to show up here. I will try to give videos themes and I will fail. I will <laughs> try to keep everything in one topic and fail. And that's just life. So thank you all for stopping by. And if you hang out a little bit longer and watch me finish this uh, splendiferous. And if you don't, I don't blame you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.